I recently treated a patient who had a history of headaches for 40 years. I did some blood work and found that she was gluten sensitive. I took her off of gluten and her headaches went away. She then visited with her gastroenterologist who picked up the phone and called me and said, why did you put this patient on a gluten-free diet? She doesn't have celiac disease. I began to explain about something called non-celiac gluten sensitivity and I have to admit there is a lot of silence on the other end of the phone. There are still people who don't believe that there really is such a thing as being gluten sensitive if you don't have celiac disease. But let's look at what the science is really telling us about this notion of non-celiac gluten sensitivity. Back in 2012, there was an international symposium in England and I've listed here, these are the top gluten researchers really on the planet. They came together to look at this notion of gluten-related disorders, in other words, being sensitive to gluten without necessarily having celiac disease. And what did they find? Well, they looked at the notion that this is a big question with $2.5 billion each year being spent on gluten-free products globally, at least that's the 2010 statistic, and they described three different things, being allergic to wheat, having celiac disease, and yes, being sensitive to gluten. Here's what they came up with. The symptoms in gluten sensitivity may resemble those associated with celiac disease, but with a prevalence of extra intestinal symptoms, meaning away from the gut, like behavioral changes, bone or joint pain, muscle cramps, leg numbness, weight loss, and even chronic fatigue. And here's a percentage breakdown in terms of what they found. Things like abdominal pain, 68%. And if you look further down, you, th you see foggy mind, 34%, about a third of the people with gluten sensitivity actually have neurologic issues like foggy mind, and a little further down, depression and even numbness in the extremities and joint pain. So the point is that gluten sensitivity is real and it frequently manifests itself outside of the gut. In my profession, being a neurologist, we see a lot of brain-related issues related to being gluten sensitive. Things like cognitive issues, attention deficit issues, depression, and even nerve issues. So we've really got to understand that our most well-respected researchers are telling us loud and clear that gluten sensitivity apart from celiac disease is very real and that we should consider going gluten-free when we have patients with these types of complaints. I'm Dr. David Perlmutter.